Hello guys, so welcome to Keo Tutorials. So here I am coming up with a tutorial on modeling, texturing and lighting a kitchen in 3ds Max. So let's get started. So let's go into rendering view image file and I'll open up a file over here. I've taken up a reference. So we'll be modeling this a stylish kitchen. So very first of all, let's start up. So whenever you're going to start up, what we can do over here is like, I'll go into this. I'll just check out its dimensions. Seven sixty-eight by four thirty-two. We can increase that later on also. Not a problem. So let's just take a plane over here. So let's go into the top view. I'll go into AC extended, and I'll take a wall. So I'll just use a bit of snap over here. That's it. So I'll just right click and convert to editable poly. Go into the vertices. Shift it. Wherever you want to shift it. I'll go into the vertices and I'll slightly increase the height of it. Slightly I can just shuffle it behind. I'll give the length and width segments as 1 1. I'll just increase this. Alright. So once you're done over here, now what I can do over here is like if you want, I can still increase it over here. So definitely we'll put this, so a bit of vertices, shuffle it till here. One word to poly. So let's go over here and I'll just put one swift loop over here and I can slightly just extrude it over here. A bit. So let's go over here. I'll take a box over here, just take a box till here, I'll increase its height, I'll go onto the top view, place it, increase its height a bit. After that, if you want any kind of details that can we can generate over here. So convert to editable poly and we are just into the blocking stage. Okay. So I'll just place this stuff over here. So I can again put one more swift loop over here. So 
so I can just select this polygons and slightly I can uh, extrude it by local normal I'll slightly push it out click OK so the same way I'll slightly extrude this and I'll click OK over here so this will be your different part so I can just assign one more swift loop over here we'll put one swift loop over here and one over here so I'll be defining this inset it by polygons so go into this front view and slightly just adjust this So again select this polygons and let's give a bit of bevel no cannot do that so this much is okay over here if you want I can go into this view and for opening I'm going to put one spear over here which will work as a knob over here so convert to editable poly so select the polygons select the border shift and drag extrude it and just cap it so can select this polygons a bit over here and I'll just mirror it in y axis and I'll just place it over here I think if you want you can do that this way also extrude it inside click OK I think this looks much much better can put it at the corner over here so let's just save the file once so it's very important that you save it once So just duplicate that all right so guys if any doubts please put it in the comment section over here so please like and subscribe my youtube channel so we can definitely view some changes over here we'll be doing it later on so please like and subscribe my youtube channel so we'll continue the rest of the part in the coming tutorial so thanks for watching this tutorial